Hey, what's up, guys? Don't keep scrolling, especially if you love hearing a testimony, all right? So, of course, I'm Coach Sue, and I have something to share with you. About maybe eight to ten years ago, um, I had went for a physical, and the doctors, um, this is just one of the things that they said to me was that I may have a heart problem. <clears throat> so based on they went on the based on the fact that my dad had heart issues and my, one of my sisters had heart issues. And so um they were saying that, you know, that I should take further tests because they think there's something wrong with my heart. Cuz it was kind of irregular or what have the case may be. So <clears throat> The end of this, that story is going to be the end of this story. So that happened eight or 10 years ago. So how about last month, I went to the doctor and this is in a totally different state, totally different doctor. And she said, she even looked at the test from back then. She said, well, the tests back then say this and your test now says the same thing. So she said, you know, I think you need to go see a cardiologist. So immediately I just started praying. I was like, okay, you know, because I know that doctors have a license to practice medicine and not to throw no shade on doctors, but please understand they're practicing. So a lot of times it may be trial and error. It may be guessing. It may be estimating, whatever the case may be. But when it comes to my life, God is in control. So she was like, you need to go to the cardiologist. So I was like, okay, cool. So they made the appointment and I just started praying. And back then, I had my spiritual mom. She was still living then, but the Lord has um, given her rest now. So I didn't have her to call on, so I just called, you know, on Jesus because that's who I need to be calling on anyway. You know, she I was calling on her back then, but she was calling on her too, but this time it was just me. And so, um, <clears throat> and then I think a couple of my, um, my family members. But anyway, so I went to go see the cardiologist this week, right? And so I, the night before, I prayed. And I, again, I said, Lord, you know, and let the um let them not find anything wrong you know um because i live by myself and even though i have my nieces that live here in north carolina with me i don't want to be a burden to anyone and i didn't want to have no health issues so that's one of the main things i pray for is that god keep me in perfect peace and could keep me in good health so i don't be a burden to anyone <clears throat> so i went to go see the cardiologist and um, he came in he said yeah so uh i looked at your you know work your health history or your heart test from from back then, I think he said 2018, and he said, and then um, I'm looking at your results from a couple of weeks ago when you went to your primary doctor, and they're the same. And I was like, okay, yeah. And he was like, you don't need a cardiologist. And I was like, I know. I said, we're here. He said, yeah, your primary doctor, she, you know, there was no need. You know, if the tests were the same back then as they are now, that's obviously your norm. And because you're not having any chest pains or um, any other things that would cause you to have to see a cardi- cardiologist he said you don't need me you don't need me so I was like man you mean I paid you a hundred dollar copay for that and he started laughing I said you know what I said it was just you know that hundred dollars was worth it just to get confirmation of what I already knew that God was gonna do and um, I praise God for good health and strength and the right mind he was like yeah keep on praying um so to God be the glory for that you know he did say because of he did recommend because of the history of my family to just um, you know watch my cholesterol intake, and so of course my primary doctor had already prescribed some some medicine, so I'm gonna start taking that. But I know that God is covering me, and so I want to share this story with you because when you get some news that is not acceptable to you, take it to God. Take it to God. What that news is, what that news is saying to you, does not have to be the end result. It does not have to be the all the get all. Okay. God has the final say so. I say often with my e group that men put the period, I mean, put the comma in your life, but God puts the period. God puts the exclamation marks. God is the one that has the final say so to your sentence, to your life. And so when you give me your opinion, you give me your thoughts, I'm like, all right, that's what's up, but I'm taking it to God because He has the final say so. So I want to encourage you give it to God, whatever it is. The pastor talked about the Leviathan today, that chaos, that fight that you got got to go through or that you're in. Give it to God. Praise him in the midst. Give, sing songs to him and give him praise because God is going to fight. You ain't even got to fight. All you got to do is just praise and God will do the rest. He's, he's got a fence around us and he's covering us and he will not let anything come to us um, that will cause us harm. So to God be the glory for that. Love you all. Smooches.